What up guys, my name's Cal and today we are reviewing the camera on the Huawei P30 Pro. The Huawei P30 Pro holds the undisputable best... Indisputable? Undisputable. Indisputable? Undisputable. Indisputable? The Huawei P30 Pro holds the best camera on the smartphone market. So let's see what it can do, if it's even really that good. But before we get into the testing, make sure you subscribe for new videos every single week. Let's get into it. The P30 Pro comes with a Leica quad camera and boasts an incredible three times optical and 50 times digital zoom. It can film in 4K with no limit on file size, which is probably why the phone itself comes with 256 gigabytes of storage. With an interbuilt lens kit including super macro, pro aperture, night mode and frame rates of up to 920 for super slow motion, there's not a lot this camera can't do. First, let's have a look at its different modes. It even has a portrait mode to generate background blur. For a digital effect, it really does look good, but honestly nowhere near close to a top-end lens for a DSLR. The super macro lens impressed me. I'd personally drop the word super from it, but check out the detail on this close-up. There's almost no blur until you're about five millimeters away from the subject. Video does not use macro, but for photos, it's passable as a pro macro lens. Now to video. It shoots in 30 and 60 frames per second in several resolutions. It shoots in 4K, naturally this can only do 30 frames per second. It has many filters, but as a videographer I can't stand digital enhancements, so I shoot as raw as possible and worry about the rest in post. This is super slow motion. Now I had some problems with blur for short range objects, but it's very smooth. I also haven't found a PAL option for filming, so unless you're in a well-lit environment, it can flicker quite badly in these higher frame rates. Now for the zoom. This is what everybody has been talking about and was really the only thing that let me down. Here's the zoom at one times, here at five times, and here at 10 times. Very, very distorted, but you can't expect much from a digital zoom. It also comes with a wide lens, which is actually awesome and not terribly fish-eyed. Now let's do a real world test and comparison. This is the P30 Pro compared to my Canon M50 with its standard 15 to 45 millimeter lens. Notice the P30 is naturally zoomed in more, but I have to say in darker environments like this hallway, the P30 really brought out the color compared to the Canon. So that's it guys. In summary, it's a great phone. And camera wise, if you're looking for a phone specifically for the camera, I'd definitely go with the P30 Pro. As far as using it day to day, if you're a videographer, maybe not. Maybe as a, a quick sidearm, something to use in convenient environments. I'll probably vlog on it and do some videos on it as well, but I'm probably gonna stick to the Canon most of the time. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. We have new videos every single week. We'll catch you in the next place.